So now let's move on to Code of Ethics, which is basically a set of principles of conduct within an organization that guides decision-making and behavior. The purpose of the Code of Ethics is to provide members and other interested persons with guidelines for making ethical choices in the conduct of their work. Members of an organization adopt a code of ethics to share a dedication to ethical behavior and adopt this code to declare the organization's principles and standards of practice. Now let's look at corporate policies. Corporate policies are used for setting objective standards for work-related issues for all staff at the company to follow at all times. Usually, corporate policies are a documented set of broad guidelines formulated after an analysis of all internal and external factors that can affect a company's objectives, operations and plans. With respect to fighting corruption and promoting transparency and accountability, Corporate policies may be used as a tool to articulate the action expected of company officials in many key areas. Key focus areas for corporate policies include the following. Firstly, financial regulations, which may cover accounting, auditing, internal controls, fraud policies and fraud prevention plans. Also procurement, um, looking at types of procurement, um, the processes, the structures and the decision-making processes um, in terms of having efficient and effective procurement systems within the organization. Another key area is conflicts of interest. And here, um, the corporate policies could define the duty of good faith, benefits, favors, and gifts, um, supervisory relationships, and standards in terms of disclosures of interest. Corporate policies um, also are a veritable tool in terms of um, articulating um, delegations of authorities within the, within the organization um, and also defining the interface of the organization and key functionaries within the organization with other stakeholders. Corporate policies are also a veritable tool for defining the rules of engagement between a company um, and government officials and other key stakeholders. A key tool in terms of fighting corruption is providing structures and processes for reporting corruption within an organization. Reporting of corruption is a critical component in the prevention of future occurrences of corrupt activities. In order to create a corruption-free business culture, it is important for companies to have standardized reporting procedures, policies and structures. It's also important for employees to be trained um, to report all known and perceived cases of corruption in order to establish a desired pattern of behavior. Each company should develop its own internal and external reporting mechanisms and build them into the company's corporate policies. An internal mechanism would ideally involve a person solely dedicated to receiving, investigating and addressing reports of corruption. And this could be like an ombudsperson or a compliance officer or even maybe in some organizations an ethics officer. Thank you very much for watching the video lectureship series on business integrity. You are most welcome to contact the team at BUSA should you need any further assistance in understanding or applying the contents of the video lectureship series. Thank you very much.